Hey guys, I'm Ashish from Guiding Tech and I recently received a review unit for the Asus Zenfone 2 Deluxe and got a chance to play with it for a couple of days. Today I'll talk about some of the cool features I found on the Zen UI and if you already own an Asus Zenfone 2 or you're planning to buy one, these tips can really be helpful. So let's check them out. You can wake up the device and put it to sleep by simply double tapping on the screen. Let me do it again so that you have a good look. So as you can see I have deliberately kept an open spot on my home screen so that I can lock the device easily and therefore the power button is only useful if I wish to power off or on the phone. You can also get the one handed mode and it can be activated from the notification drawer or by simply double tapping on the home button. The screen will have soft buttons making it a true one handed mode. Also you can move the screen if you prefer handling the phone using your other hand. The next thing I liked on the device is the lock screen gestures and it indeed is a remarkable feature. So let's say your phone is locked and you wish to launch the camera. Ideally on other android phones you'll have to wake up your phone and then launch the camera app from either the lock screen or the home screen. But on the Zen UI, you can simply draw a gesture on the screen and the app will open up directly. The same can be done for other apps. So let me show you how I'll launch a web browser when the phone is locked. All these settings can be fully customized under the Android settings. You have an option called Zen Motion here and in here you can configure the touch gesture and the associated apps. There are some 6 preset gestures which can't be changed but you can set up to 6 different apps to these gestures and trust me these can really help in crisis. The next thing worth mentioning about the Zen UI is the ability to record calls. So let's say you have a call with someone you wish to record for future reference. Just tap on the record button while you're on the call and it will start recording. The status bar will turn red just so that you are aware that you are recording a particular call. Once you are done recording or if you just disconnect the call, the clips are saved under the recording folder. Now to access them, open the sound recorder app from your app drawer and here navigate to the call recording folder to see all the calls that you have recorded using the Zen UI. The call recording name will be the contact name or the particular number you dialed along with the date and time that makes it easier for you to manage them. Now if you need to share them or save them for future reference, long tap on any of these calls and you'll get the option to either email it to yourself or share it using Bluetooth or just upload to your cloud network. Finally, taking up the user interface now, there is a lot to talk about it. So basically the Google Now gesture has been modified by the Zen UI and the default swipe up gesture now gives you a lot of options to customize the home screen appearance. If you want to launch Google Now however, press and hold the home button till you see the Google icon and then swipe up. Coming back to the UI, there are two modes that can be selected for the home screen. One is the drawer based mode like most of the Android devices where you have the home screen with shortcuts and widgets and they also call it the dual layer mode and then you tap on the app drawer for all the apps to show up. The another one is the one layer layout which is uh, famous in the MIUI roams. To change the mode open the preference and here select layout. After you select the layout the launcher will restart and you will see all the icons placed directly on the home screen also known as the one layer mode. In preferences there's a lot of stuffs that you can configure like the icon placing, the grid size, the background transparency for the home screens and also the batches that you get on your icons. There's a swipe down gestures that can be configured by and by default 
It is configured to open the notification drawer, makes it easy to handle the device with one hand. But if you need, you can change that particular option to search for an app directly. One cool thing I like is the smart app grouping. In this feature, every app you download is placed into folders directly. Now if you are a person who loves uh, to work with the folders rather than all the icons on the home screen directly, this particular option is for you. You can change this view however to all app mode, downloaded mode and customized to the ones that are frequently used. So guys, these were some of the cool features about the Zen UI on the Asus Zenphones. If you already own the device, use the tips to make the most out of it. For those who would like what they saw and wish to buy the phone, links are provided in the description of the video. In my next video, I'll be talking about some of the cool apps that are offered on the Zenphones and how you can use them productively. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on it. Have a good one guys. Take care.